Op survives Hurricane Ian along with their pets. You, Ring-a-ling 11 posted two days ago. I moved into the closet for Hurricane Ian. It's supposed to be a nearly direct hit on my city. HTTPS. Imager.com slash A slash GZ0JTI. Op comments. Hurricanes are hard to predict. I have work in class. Plus three animals and the dog is paralyzed and not easy to transport. I can't just leave at the mere possibility of a hurricane. I'm alone and even going to a shelter is extremely difficult with just me and having to handle my animals. I went to a shelter for Irma. Still had three animals but the dog wasn't paralyzed plus I had my ex and it was still a lot to deal with. Right now it's just windy. I live in an areas where they predict a 9 plus feet of storm surge water but my yard isn't even flooded. Yet. I got an email from my university saying it could hit anywhere from Venice. Hour and a half away to the north of me. To Naples. 30 minutes south of me. It's going 155 miles per hour right now. A category 5 is categorized as 157 plus MPH. I live in a duplex. My side is just ground floor. One bedroom. My neighbor's side is two floors. If I start flooding I'll just haul everyone over there. My dog is paralyzed though and harder to move. My house made it through Charlie and Irma. I have confidence in the house staying up. It's the giant trees in my yard I'm worried about. Backslash. Update 1. 15 hours ago. I've been trying to edit the post or even make a new one. My service is so bad it won't let me. I keep getting error messages. We are all okay though. Backslash. Final update. For now. 15 hours ago. We made it. Sorry there is practically no cell service at all. Almost the entire city has no electricity including me. The entire city is also under a boil water notice so I've been conserving the water I do have since. My animals are top priority. My yard is an absolute disaster and a tree damaged my car. My house was lucky enough to get zero flooding though. Some people had it way worse than I did so I've been very lucky. Backslash. 13 hours ago. Cell service has just been horrible. Today is the first morning that that the internet seems actually okay. We didn't get any flooding at all but I have trees everywhere in my yard. I spent all day yesterday cleaning up and calling my car insurance for my car damage. Thanks everyone for caring about me and my animals. I didn't think that post would blow up quite that much. Jeez. Oop got crazy lucky. I'm in Virginia and it is coming through right now it sounds like my roof is trying to lift off. Thanks for posting this. I've been thinking about op. But couldn't remembered where they originally posted. I remembered they said they were in Fort Myers. And after seeing pictures of the area. I was hoping they were okay. Also in Florida. We just got internet back a couple of hours ago. Cell service was patchy all day yesterday. Trees are down. Fences are down. The neighborhood next to mine still has no electricity. And a house two streets over burned to the ground because electricity and water don't mix. Oop was very brave to stay with their animals. I am so glad they are okay. Things could have been so much worse. My boyfriend told me one of his two dream locations to live is Jacksonville. I told him if he moved to Florida we would not be staying together. He and I both grew up in Tornado Alley. I told him I'd be damned if I was going to live in Hurricane Alley. Luckily for me, he's a very serious recreational fisherman and ultimately has concluded he's willing to consider Vermont, which is where I want to live because the fisheries up in Lake Champlain are in very good condition. But man, when we had that discussion I thought for sure we were going to break up. I absolutely hate ultimatums in relationships because it virtually guarantees a breakup. 
But ultimately I had to tell him there was no way I would consider living anywhere that a hurricane could make landfall. I can't swim and the thought of trying to survive a storm surge is a paralyzing thought. What Oop just went through is literally one of my worst nightmares. It's pure stupidity to think you should chance sitting through a hurricane. You endanger yourself, whoever is with you, and any rescue workers that have to try to reach you when things almost always go south. Oop used up whatever luck they had for the next year. The Philippines had a storm hit the northern part of the country. And one of the first headlines I saw after it made landfall was the death of a team of rescue workers that responded to citizens who didn't evacuate. So much negativity. Can't we just be glad Oop and her critters are okay? Regardless of whether or not you think it was stupid. 1. No one cares. 2. It's over. In Florida here too. Oop got insanely lucky. The amount of flooding brought by this hurricane is crazy. Several areas in my city have been completely flooded for days. We're talking six feet of water. Not storm surge. Destroying cars. Homes. Everything. I am so glad they are okay. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.